Welcome to The Wrap. I'm Oliver Manick here to take you through this week's market action. Mag7 earnings and the jobs report highlighted a week that was mostly down for stocks. The Nasdaq fell 1.6%, the S&P dropped just shy of one5 and the Dow fell about two-tenths of a percent. It was actually the small caps in the Russell, which eked out a small gain despite yields ripping and bond prices dropping. 9 of 11 sectors in the S&P ended the week red. Tech closed down 3.3%, real estate and utilities not far behind, losing 3.1% and 2.8% respectively. Communications rallied one5 and, and consumer discretionary gained half a percent. Let's look at some of the biggest earnings of the week. Apple couldn't meet monumental expectations despite reporting a record almost $95 billion in revenue, which includes over $46 billion in iPhone sales. Apple got price target hikes. It also got some cuts. Goldman Sachs and BNP Paribas were on the upside. Barclays and Jefferies cut their price targets. Keep in mind, the company's long-awaited AI product, Apple Intelligence, was released just days ago. Stock slipped about 3.5% though on the week. Amazon rallied 5.5% almost this week thanks to a surge off its earnings. Cloud shined with AWS sales climbing 19% annually. Operating service revenue grew 50% from the previous quarter. The e-commerce giant is bracing for a big holiday shopping season, anticipating sales between 181 and 188.5 billion for the fourth quarter. And tech staple Microsoft slipped on earnings, even though it was a beat, but a slowdown in Azure growth. Microsoft cloud revenues saw 22% growth year over year, while Azure and cloud services grew by 33%, but it still just wasn't enough. Microsoft said it's using, quote, AI platforms and tools to drive new growth. Outside earnings, Supermicro was a highlight, a stunning 45% collapse throughout the week. It began Wednesday when Ernst & Young resigned as the company's accounting firm. In a statement, EY said it can, quote, no longer be able to rely on management and the audit committee's representation. It's the latest in a series of financial concerns surrounding the once all-important chip company. More earnings on deck next week. Berkshire Hathaway, Constellation Energy for a look at nuclear revenues or the potential thereof. CBS reports before markets open, it'll be a tech show after the closing bell. Palantir, Supermicro, Qualcomm, and Arm all report. And of course, the election next week, as well as the Fed, which will decide on another potential interest rate cut. That'll do it for The Wrap. I'm Oliver Rennick. Remember to tune in 24-7 to schwabnetwork.com.